Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's episode, episode number 13 of our Bobby Brazilian Bobby. I keep saying Bobby Brazilian Bobby. It's just Brazilian Bobby. But in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is first off, let me show you guys the team and then we'll move on from there, guys. So this is the team we are working with right now at the moment. Gravenberg, 98 rated Gravenberg, got an upgrade. 98 rated uh, Rodrigo got an upgrade this was the first ever car that we got in episode one make sure you guys go and watch those episodes as well if you have time because the all the episodes on this uh, series is amazing guys we have had so much fun and uh, now our new player who might come into the team and take rodrigo's place but i don't know if i want to play him ahead of rodrigo is lee kangin if you guys look at lee kangin and rodrigo his Lee Kangin is 98 rated guys, 98 rated and Rodrigo is 101 rated fully trained for level 101 and there is not much difference and Lee Kangin will be getting plus 2 upgrade because PSG won against Marseille, Marseille? Yeah, that's how you say that club's name, I think. Yeah, this match you guys are seeing on Football Center thingy right now. PSG won that game 3-0. So, Lee Kangin will be getting an upgrade of plus 2. So, we will be getting 100 at Lee Kangin. I am very excited for that. And uh, the other thing in today's episode that we are going to be doing is, I'm pretty sure you guys would have figured that out by the thumbnail and title. What is going to be happening in today's episode is, we are going to be claiming our first ever Icon Chronicles from the new Icon Chronicles uh, event, which is the, is it called Head? H-E-A-D. Why is there a X in between? Or is it Hexed? Or something like that. I've already completed Roy Keane. He's not going to be in my team. I've actually used Roy Keane in one of the exchanges that we have done. Cassius is the one whom we are going to be getting. And he's going to go straight into our team today. And then apart from this, we have a 97 to 100 rated guaranteed trick or treat pack that will be opening. After that, we have to upgrade two big players. Two huge, huge upgrades we have to do. So make sure you guys check till the end. And after that, we are opening our limited exchanges and we'll be opening a daily bundle for trick or treat. So all these will be doing in today's episode. Uh, I don't know if we'll play any games in today's episode. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So first of all, Cassias is done. Now, if you guys look at the team, the three new... The, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in... First, we'll take out Rajkovic and bring in our Cassias and uh, train him. Train. He need to train Cassius. Cassius card is not as great as I thought it would be. For, but for a 98 rated player, the best stats on this card was really good. And Cassius is Cassius, guys. The best. The best. He is, he is the best. And then our next upgrade that we are going to be doing is we'll do the upgrades right away. Because uh, then, then we can just progress with everything else. It's going to be rank up for Jude Bellingham. He's going to go for the second highest. I mean, second highest rank that a card can receive so we're gonna do this i'm gonna be putting all five mash runners i don't want to take any risk <laughs> if you guys know our luck in this channel it is just beautiful wonderful and i don't want to test out my luck guys so i'm just gonna you know do that and i'm gonna be taking long shot taker only so that i can get this uh you know ke chemistry style in which is not chemistry style the center mid position which is 99 percent overall will be retained if it was not there 98 percent overall is going to be retained so i'm gonna do that and most of his things if you guys look at this acceleration increases in pace and then under shooting short power positioning long shot increases and dribbling uh, reactions and agility increases so i'm absolutely going to take this and for his final upgrade we might take passing or dribbling we'll see what happens we'll see what happens when we get to that place we need 10 mash runners for that <laughs> I don't know when that will happen. So we have absolutely taken Jude Bellingham to monstrosity level. So we are gonna actually use a player that we don't <coughs> most probably won't be requiring uh, anymore. Where is he? Wait a minute. I'll be back. But you know what? Before we actually do that, let us let us upgrade Gravenberg as well. Gravenberg is another player I want to upgrade. Because I will be removing Yaya Torre from my main squad, who is there in my main squad. And I'm going to be adding Yaya, uh, Gravenberg to my main squad. So that is one important thing that I'm going to be doing. So not only is he going to be a part of our uh, RTG squad, 
uh, as of now but he's also gonna be a part of my main squad which is gonna be really nice i will show you guys my main squad in just a minute uh but yeah we'll get we'll go there we'll go there in a while now i'm gonna be doing this upgrade which is gonna take him to 103 and then after this we have one more master on our left and then i have uh, another upgrade to do today's stream is going today's game is going to be our episode is going to be focused on upgrades guys uh we need to upgrade toribo toribo is going to get a, an upgrade so these are the three players that we are upgrading today i have had five plus four plus one how much is that that's is it ten did i literally instead of telling ten i said five plus four plus one something is seriously wrong with me uh, we have to still give Gravenberg his upgrades and Toribo his upgrades with skill points. So before that what we are going to do is we are going to take Gravenberg to monstrosity by not doing the trainings with the players. <laughs> we are going to do training transfers guys. How do we do training transfers? We are going to take Yaya Torre training transfer today's episode will be a very very chill episode guys i'm not gonna stress too much in today we are not gonna sit and play games today it's just a fun episode so that even you guys can see what i usually do in the background to you know get these all things uh, done and uh, sorted out not every youtuber or not every content creator will show this just because they want to open packs or they want to focus on different types of content i i feel that because many of you guys might not be interested in this but yeah, now since that is completed, we can go and list Yaya Tore and uh, Todibo. Todibo has to go. Yeah, I'm gonna train him real quick. Um, okay, so Todibo gets plus four, 104 pace, 102 dribbling, 125 defending, and 120 physical. And then Gravenberg, after his upgrades, he is getting 109 pace, 103 shooting, 120 passing. 116 dribbling 94 defending and uh, 96 physical so we are gonna do this so what i'm gonna do probably with gravenberg is stress him out here if i do this he won't be getting any secondary positions if i do that he won't be getting any secondary positions if i do this he won't be getting any secondary positions but we had yaya tore be an absolute defensive monster so do I just go for the same type of uh, upgrade or do I go for physical with him? If I do physical, his balance, ball control and strength will increase and if I do passing, his passing will increase. You know what? I think I'm going to do passing. I'm just going to keep two high passing rated, highly passing rated players here. So 103 passing, 109 pace, 103 shooting, 106 dribbling with 94 defense and 86 physical. It's actually pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. I actually did not expect it to go that that crazy, but it's looking nice. And uh, Jude Bellingham also needs an upgrade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that in the uh, background, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, now I have successfully trained Jude Bellingham as well. He's gone to a massive, massive upgrade. 120 pace, 142 shooting, 125 passing, 137 dribbling, and 100 physical with 91 defending this guy is going crazy this is my main squad for those who are curious about my main squad i need to change three main players i need to change uh, r9 i need to change van dyke i need to change schmeichel and i also need an additional left wing player because i'm using 103 diago jota if you guys look at this i have 103 diago jota who is being played at left wing right now and he's actually better at left wing not gonna lie and george best over here is gonna be replaced by Lee Kangin very soon. I am just waiting for the plus two upgrade and some Masharano cards. Once that is done, I'll be putting uh, Lee Kangin in and Todibo might come in place of Van Dyke for a temporary temp 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 temporary period, guys. I struggle there a bit. But I am also building another squad which is looking somewhat like this 4 2 4 and 4 3 3 attack. These two formations are one the two of my favorite formations in the game. So I am working on these two formations at the moment and that is why what we are going to be doing is we are going to be selling most hopefully we will sell players at the moment I feel like only one player will get sold sold quickly is going to be Yaya Tore because there are play oh okay yeah Yaya Tore 
there are people who actually want to buy Yaya Tore and are in the market looking out for him so I'm just gonna place him on the market for the highest bid possible and uh, Martinez, Lautaro Martinez, nobody wants him I don't know why I feel like the numbers are changing every day but nobody's buying him same with uh, Alan Walker I know it's Kyle Walker guys, chill out uh, same with Kyle Walker, it's just not going I've been posting them for the three weeks now and they're just dead here Hopefully, Aya Torres goes and gets me some coins so that we can go on to buy Enric, guys. Enric is someone I really need in the squad. Not only for our uh, RTG series, but also for my main squad. I am trying to, you know, get a new player. So, since those two things, we did a lot of things. We actually got in Cassius, Jude Bellingham upgrade, Gravenberg upgrade, and uh, Lee Kangin. I told you guys what we're going to be doing with Lee Kangin. So, now let us go open some packs this is where you guys hopefully will get interested i know i don't know how many of you how many people just switched off the video as soon as we i told we'll be doing this but in the end but hopefully at least you guys are here but yeah let us go 97 to 100 rated guaranteed yard the level one of trick treat i completed this this the day this was released but i waited for a right opportunity to open the pack so yeah italia left mid uh, it's gonna be 97 rated card. Yeah, Griffo. I knew it. I knew it. But it is what it is. We are not gonna be adding him into the squad because we already have a better player in our left wing position. So we're not gonna be using him. Now going to the exchanges, we need to open this. And after this, we are gonna go and open our daily bundle. And then we will end the stream. End the stream? End the video. I am streaming on Twitch by the way. If you guys are interested on live streams, make sure you guys check out the Twitch channel and the YouTube channel. <laughs> literally we just packed him guys. Lit literally we just we just literally packed him. I don't understand my luck in this game. But looks like it's gonna be horrible. You know what? I'm gonna do a weird, weird thing. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna add him to my wish list, go back and then open. Will this give us uh <laughs> Imagine this gives us uh, what is his name Alejandro Garnacho. Will this give us Garnacho? Who knows? Maybe. If I see Argentina, I'm gonna jump. Oh. <laughs> is this Minamino? I have no clue who this is. Hi, this is Minamino. Uh, this is from a 97 to 100 guaranteed. We got a 97. From a 95 to 103, we actually got 97. It's actually pretty decent for us. And from a 98 to 103, we got a 98 rated card. <laughs> am I even, am I even shocked at this point? Not, not really. I am not shocked. I am gonna open one of this just for sanity purposes to see if we get anything above 100. And we are gonna end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you guys did. And yeah, more episodes to come your way. In tomorrow's video, we will be looking at the new promo which is going to be coming out, guys. The Dia de Muertos. You guys see 17k points there. You, we are going to open standard packs. Standard packs. The 1500k gem packs. We are going to be opening that. We are not going to be opening the regular packs. Like the daily. Maybe we'll open daily bundle. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a couple of exchanges if there are any new exchanges. We'll see that in tomorrow's video, guys. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. The last opening for today's video. We did so many upgrades. The main reason I did this rec recording was for... Uh, the main reason I did this recording was to show you guys the upgrades. So I have showed you guys the upgrades. And this was absolutely waste of 3500 for me. And now I am happy with myself. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, stay safe. Stay motivated and keep smiling guys. Bye-bye.